Well, who's excited? Me, me. I'm, I know I'm excited. you're excited. We're only about 13 hours until tip off at the Farrell Center in Waco is already filled with students excited for the game day experience tomorrow. Yep, ESPN makes their way back to Waco for tomorrow's big matchup. Nikki Latarulo has been on campus all day and is now with the students who are camping out tonight. Hey, Nikki. Well, hey guys, ESPN College Game Day is back in Waco for the second time this school year. And students, they've been here since 5.30 p.m. I think they're getting a little spoiled with how good the athletic program has been here at Baylor, but they're making posters, they're ready to go, and they're just bleeding green and gold. We're very, very proud here at Baylor. We are very proud to be Baylor Bears. The campus of Baylor University has been buzzing for the past few days. With game day coming to town again, I mean, every, everyone's talking. It's just, you can hear the noise level on campus is just different. ESPN College Game Day returns to Waco for the second time this academic year. Something that hasn't happened since Michigan State back in 2015-2016. But for the university itself, this type of success is expected. We talked about being a, a top five, a top ten uh, athletics program across the board. And not just, you know, the winning and losing piece, but all of it. Just a few years back, the Baylor athletic program was far off the national sports map. And today, athletic director Mac Rhodes said the entire university is one, which has created this success. And our coaches, our staff, our student athletes, the student body. And I just feel like, you know, we're, we're all aligned, all on the same page, all right? One family supporting one another, one common goal. And so uh, when that happens, I think special things happen. The matchup between number one Baylor and number three Kansas has students so excited they'll spend the night inside the Ferrell Center to ensure they get that perfect spot come game time. The student section is going to be incredible, very raucous, causing a lot of chaos for the opposing team. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be absolutely sold out, people yelling and screaming. And with game day beginning at 10 a.m. and tip off set for 11, even the ES ESPN crew is excited for the hype that will go right into the game. I hear that the lower bowl tickets and the aftermarket are going like for a thousand dollars. That's insane. Well, tomorrow we're actually carrying our show right into the game, so the place is going to be lit. I'm looking forward to taking taking that all in. And just look at how much fun this is for Baylor students. I mean, come on, you cannot not be having fun. And we all football coach Dave Aranda will be coming in here and delivering cookies to everyone so all of the athletic programs are in on the fun again doors open here at 8 30 a.m. and the show starts at 10 a.m. and tip off of course is set for 11 a.m. as Baylor looks to remain perfect in Big 12 play reporting live in Waco I'm Nikki Laterulo 6 News we'll be right back